What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trip 2323. This this really perplexed me about this Chinese balloon. This really perplexed me. Uh because I want to show you the, the swift uh the swift thing that our US government did. It just it really had me bothered because this thing was so big and this balloon was one of the first balloons that they were able to pilot around everywhere it went. Now today's February 5th, right? I got everything written down here. Today's February 5th. They shot it down February 4th, and everybody's like, why didn't we shoot it down? Well, it was over Montana. I guess when when the, when the it got out to the public, yeah, this thing is already over Montana, right? But January 28th, Jan, I mean, it's February 4th when they shot it down. January 28th, it entered U.S. airspace by the Aleutian Islands. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. By the Aleutian Islands, it entered U.S. airspace January 28th, then steered itself. It took three days then it went over Canada three days later, okay? And then January 31st, it re-entered U.S. airspace. And then we allowed it to fly over the whole U.S. saying that, well, we can't shoot it down now. But yet, you know, three days earlier is when it entered the U.S. airspace. So they shot it down February 4th. And they this was one that was actually navigatable. So they were able to steer it. They were able to see it. January 28th come over the the uh in, in the US US territory US airspace it was January 28th it was in US airspace and it was over water for 3 days prior to making it to the United States but they snuck in I guess they came in through Canada and then came down that way but this thing could have been shot down way before so they shot down so far they're they're trying to get our navy to get it but if you know the the Chinese are always overfishing, so they got so much vessels in the ocean right now. So hopefully we can get it first before them. But uh, Percy, I think that it should have been shot down and made a statement right when it entered our airspace on January 28th. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.